Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am bringing you a what I ate today. I know that I have a really yummy lunch planned. And if you've been with me for a while, you may have seen this one before. And then I'm not really sure what's going to happen for dinner. There's there, we may go out to eat, we may not. I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll see where the day takes us. So with that said, I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to show you what I'm having for breakfast, and we'll see how the rest of my day progresses. So let's go. Breakfast today is going to be zero points. I have three scrambled eggs. There's just salt and pepper in there. I have a banana hoping that it's not too ripe because I did buy new bananas, but all they had were green ones. So I'm going to have to wait a couple of days for those. And then two cuties. I have a pile of overripe bananas. This one I may toss, but I'm going to be making some muffins and I think I might put some in the freezer for smoothies for my husband. So <sighs> breakfast today, zero points. And then I will come back and show you what I'm having for lunch. For lunch today, I am going to be having some chicken fried rice and I added some pineapples to this one. So chicken pineapple fried rice. So what I did is I started off with a cup and a half of brown rice and a cup and a half made three cups. So we're just doing this math together. So we did three cups of brown rice cooked. So if you do the three cups of brown rice cooked in your app that comes out to be 22 points. All right, so stay with me. So 22 points and I have a total of eight cups. I don't know if I can get this in here, but this is eight cups of brown, you know, eight cups of cooked mixture. And the only thing in here that counts as points is my rice. So I have rice, I have veggies, I do have some sesame seed oil, um, but the sesame seed oil that I have is very low when it's spread over eight point or eight cups. So I am going to say that this is three points per cup because of all the extra add-ins, the veggies, the the um, chicken that I used was zero point ground chicken. I put a whole pound of that in here. I put three eggs in here. Um, so everything that I put in here was zero points except for the rice and the sesame seed oil. And when I did all my calculations, it came out to be three points per cup. So even if I did a cup and a half, that would be five points per serving. So three to five points, depending on how much you have. What an absolute delicious low point lunch. And I cook it in my rice cooker. So you cannot go wrong with that. I just dumped all the ingredients in and let the rice cooker do the work. The ground chicken was already browned, so that made it go so much quicker. It was just a dump and go type recipe. So I've made this before in my rice cooker. I have a recipe for that. I've got a video link, so I will put that down below in the comments so that you can get to this recipe. But chicken fried rice, super low in points super filling that brown rice will keep you full longer so i'm going to go ahead and measure myself out some in my bowl and i will enjoy my lunch today so lunch is going to be five points all right it's snack time i filled up my water again and i'm going to have some of these pretzels they're the pub style pretzels by clancy's I get these at Aldi and they are absolutely delicious. I, it says bold and zesty and I'm telling you the garlic and onion flavor comes through. It is so good. So 15 pretzels is three points. I've got those counted out here and I will have these and then I will come back and show you what else I'm having. Let me know in the comments if you've tried these. I was really shocked. I had seen them. Somebody was doing an Aldi haul. I can't remember who it was, but I had seen them and I'm like, they, they just sounded really good. And let me tell you something, I have been buying them every since. So if you're looking for a nice, flavorful pretzel that you don't need any dip for, these are for you. All right, so what I thought I would do as an afternoon snack is go ahead and throw together a quick iced coffee. You guys know that I have really been loving these lately. So I have just a cup of ice. I'm going to put in one pump of the skinny syrups 
vanilla. And if you don't have this, you can leave this out. I just like to have mine a little bit sweeter. So I thought I would just throw a pump in there. I have six ounces of unsweetened almond milk, just the great value brand here. And I'm gonna throw in one scoop of protein powder. And this is the Ghost Nutrition Cinnabon. And this one I think is two points per scoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a scoop of that. Here we go. I'm gonna put that right in here. Now, if you have a shaker bottle, you could put it in the shaker bottle. I actually invested in a frother, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up. I'm always afraid to do it too fast because I'm always afraid it's going to overflow. But I think that's looking pretty good. Give it another second here. All right, we're gonna call that a day. All right, so now we're gonna to start to put this together. I have my cold brew here that I made myself and you guys have seen me make this hopefully several times on my channel. Just walking around my camera here so I can show you quickly. Ouch, that was loud, sorry. I have this, this coffee filter, this and I got it from Amazon. You guys can find it below in my store. But you just put that inside the container, put coffee in it, fill it up with water, and just let it steep on your counter for 24 hours and you're good to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw our coffee into our cup. There we go. I'm gonna top that off with my protein here. And there we go. That is going to give me, let's see, 25 grams of protein. I don't know if there, I don't think there's any protein in this milk. One gram. So 26 grams of protein if I were using the full cup of milk. I did only use six ounces so that it was zero points. So the only points that I'm using today are the two points from the protein powder. So that's a two-point iced coffee, and I will enjoy this. And again, this should tide me over for dinner. Now, if you're making this and you don't like this as thick, you could just thin it down with water, or you could add more almond milk. Um, once you hit one cup of almond milk, though, you do have to count the point, but then still it would only be three points. Or you can do like I do, and you can just use a pre-made protein drink and use that instead of the protein powders. I do like the fact that I have uh, several protein powders right now, so I can change up the flavor combinations anytime I want. So stay tuned. I think we're going out to dinner today. Uh, my, my, morning, my morning thoughts were correct. So stay tuned and I will show you what I'm having for dinner. All right, we ended up at Bubba's 33. My husband got these wings and I had to have at least two of them. So I counted five points for two wings, which it was worth every single point. These raspberry chipotle wings are just absolutely amazing. I ordered my normal go-to California chicken and broccoli, and that is nine points for the full meal. However, every time I get this, it seems to fill me up. I think I just munch on that broccoli way too much. And so here is my plate, and you can see that I only ate half the chicken and half the broccoli, so now I have lunch for tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna end the day with a chocolate protein cake for two points and I just posted a video last week about this protein cake it's like five ingredients it's really good it actually helps me with my sweet tooth and if you haven't tried it and you have protein powder in your house definitely pull it out and give this a try so this is where I'm going to end my day I am going to wrap up today's video I'll leave a copy of my tracker here at the end and with that I will say have a great day. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching and we will see you next video.